guys welcome back to my channel it's good to be back again with a new tutorial and today I'm gonna talk about my haircut because many of you have been asking me what should I tell my hairstylist if I want to have your haircut and it's really hard to see what my haircut is since I'm doing the tutorials it's really fast and some of you guess it very easily um, they went to the hairstylist they got the haircut and they sent me the pictures and you guys looked amazing but for those who didn't get it the first time, today's tutorial is all about explaining to you how my haircut is and why do I have it, why does it suit my hair, and what are the things you need to tell your hairstylist that she needs to know to get their right haircut. So if you are interested to know all of this, please keep on watching. thing you guys need to know and it's a very important detail is that I always blow dry my hair I never walk out of the door without my hair blow dried and the reason why I'm doing this is because I cannot let my hair dry naturally it will get very frizzy wavy and curly and it doesn't matter whether I put product in it or not somehow my hair listens better to me when I blow dry it so it's very important to know that if you would go for my haircut and if you decide to do nothing about it it will never look the same so the reason why it looks like this is because I'm blow drying it I'm adding the volume to the bangs I'm blow drying in certain ways so that the layers are visible but this is how long my hair is remember if my hair is curly it's gonna get a little bit shorter obviously but it's now perfectly polished straightened so this is how long it is and the reason why my hair isn't so heavy and doesn't uh, weigh down is because I have the layers and layers can help the hair to be less heavy and also one of the reasons why I have layers is because otherwise it will get very flat on top of my head so the layers are lifting the hair up. That's one of the main reasons why I get layers, besides the fact that I really think they look very feminine. You can do so much with them, and um, I love the fact that it's not just straight, plain. You know, it looks beautiful on some people, but I have very long face, so I need some volume on the sides to come, you know, to make it oval. Okay, so this is the back of my hair, and I'm just gonna section the scalp the top part off just so I can show you guys the hair without the layers so this is what my hair looks like without adding the layers so as you can see like there are no layers now but at the front I always ask her to round the front section up so this is you can see it starts here where the layers are starting to show up we're very slightly a little bit very naturally you don't even see it unless I am pulling the hair down I'm gonna let my hair a little bit down just section some parts off now we have some more hair and now you can see more layers in the front this is my length without the layers and here you can see some layers and again, I kept it very long. I don't like very short, obvious layers. So I like to keep it very flowy, very natural. So it flows perfectly with the rest of the hair. I'm gonna add the rest of the hair. And this is where my layers are. Now I'm gonna part my hair in the middle. So I can also explain to you how I get this curtain look. And I have a whole tutorial about how to make these babes you know more obvious with a blow-dry technique you can um, you can check that out if you really want to know how to get the curtain look now the, the front section is very important to me because I don't like to have straight hair around my face without anything happening this is how long the front layer is and from there you can see the layers getting longer if you want to have the volume in the front which I do uh, love you can get the hair cut with the front section. When I put it to the back or to the side, you can see that it adds volume to the side as well. And that's exactly what I want. I want to have the volume around my face. And just to show you guys the other side, so you can see the volume. Here you have the layers. Here we have the bangs and everything. Like I can choose to make it more obvious by squeezing the hair so you can see where the layers are. And 
If I don't want them to show, I simply brush them with the rest of the hair and you will never guess that I have layers. I want my layers to be subtle. I want them to be very natural, very flowy. If you have my hair length, this is how short, the shortest layer should be, somewhere around my jawline. So this is very important to remember. The second thing you need to mention, and it's a very important one, um, what is your style routine? Like, what do you do about your hair when you get out of the shower? Do you blow dry it or do you let it dry naturally? This is something, and it's very important to mention this to your hairstylist, because if I would let my hair dry naturally, this short layer will not be around my jawline, it will be somewhere around my eyebrow because my hair is curly, it will jump up. Now you will not be very happy about that. So it's very important to tell her that my hair is naturally curly, if I let it dry naturally it will jump up. So the layer should be a little bit longer because when it's dry it will get shorter. That's a very very important point you need to mention to your hairstylist everything you do about your hair. I can imagine it might be a little bit scary for you if you have very long hair to cut it all off. Um, the layers might look a little bit too short, um, the haircut would look a little bit different, especially if you have lo if you had long hair for a very long time. I've been using the Luxie hair clipping extension. I can use the extensions without having to wait for the hair to grow out. The ones that I have from Luxie hair are so easy. I explained in the previous tutorial how to clip them in. All you have to do is just clip them in. You can use the entire set if you want the big, long, voluminous hair, or you can use separate ones and just you see for example adding them here in the front section to make your layers look a little bit longer or if you have a ponytail and you want to add a lot of volume to it but your hair is very fine or short clip in extensions so it's very very easy there are so many solutions to work around the haircut without having to regret it without having to wait for the hair to grow out you just have to be a little bit more creative and you have to trust you know your instincts if you want to go for that haircut just go for it don't regret it um, don't think oh my god what have I done play around with it you know be more creative enjoy having pictures looking back at them and realizing oh my god I had different haircuts I tried it all I had the beautiful hair color then and when I was 30 I go I went for the bob so just enjoy it and have fun with it. So that's it for today's tutorial, you guys. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you can use the information that I gave you to get the perfect haircut. Uh, comment below and let me know what you want to see next here on my YouTube channel. Give this tutorial a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I really hope to see you next time. Bye!